Jack, at 92 years old, most people are retired. So what inspires you to keep creating, changing, and evolving? I feel like I've been retired all my life. I, I, I think one day someone's going to catch up with me and say you shouldn't get paid for having such a good time. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for around 70 years and uh, it's, it's situations keep changing, business keep changing, conditions keep changing, uh, everything changes but some uh, elements lag and that's the education. Uh, the thought that I really want to get across is that you've got to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, you're in the wrong business. Is there anyone who was an impact maker for you growing up? I came from a uh, poor family and uh, most of them were first and second generation immigrants and uh, most had not graduated high school. And we had this one guy, this uncle of mine. Uh, I remember him because everybody used to, you'll excuse, I hope you remember the name, used to compare him to Cary Grant. He was a very, very handsome man, but he was smart, he was edgy, uh, he was competitive, and he also built the biggest curtain business in the United States. As an international entrepreneur, you've traveled around the world. You experienced a life that many people only dream of. What characteristics and values do you admire in successful people? And what do you think they all have in common? What they all have in common is intelligence. What they all have in common is an ability to listen. I, I think it's the essence of selling. I, I, for years I trained people to sell. And, and the essence is that at the end of the interview, that potential customer is now your friend and he doesn't know how he's lived this long without what you had to sell him. Uh, but it, it just, it's just keeping your mind open because a thing didn't work one time, one time doesn't mean it won't work again, but also to do research. So as a matter of fact, the biggest, the biggest problem I think uh, people have is the number of failures. And uh, when I sat down to write uh, The Evolution of an Entrepreneur, the first thought I had in mind was to eliminate as many failures as possible, eliminate the loss of money, eliminate the loss of heart, the loss of soul. And, uh, and I put together a very simple five-point program, which I, uh, <laughs> I call the Nadell method, and and it, and it works. It's five simple steps that you have to take in order to really know that you've done the right research, and you've got to do the research yourself. Can you um, briefly share with us what the five steps are? Yes, the five steps are uh, number one, you start with something you really enjoy doing. If you don't enjoy it, you're, 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 you're not in the right place because it's a place you're going to spend uh, most of your life. Number two, you've got to get an idea and always work with one question in mind. What is there out there that there is a need for and that I can fill? And I can find a unique way to fill it, and and that's 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 point number two. Point number three is once you have that, you've got to do the research. You've got to see who's done it before. If it's a good idea, the odds are someone else has had that or something similar to it before you. They've either failed or they've made it, and you can learn from their experiences. So you want to do the research. What methodology did they use? What was the distribution? What was the what was, what were the uh, products used? And and it's an endless stream. It's, it's part of the research. After you've done the research, now you sit down and you draw up a business plan. Now here I go counter to many people I've associated with, 
who say you, you draw up a plan and you stick with it. I say you draw up a plan that you expect to stick with, but be prepared to make changes because you never know what lies ahead of you. Everyone leaves some kind of legacy behind. They just do. What do you want your legacy to be? I really want my legacy to be that uh, the country and the world are able to enjoy a better standard of living through ingenuity and through um, better uh, relationships. So if I if I if I leave what I want to leave, I don't care if really uh, how how it happens or, or or whether it's remembered by name, but just to have the ability to make a living, to earn your money, to to realize the American dream, uh, and to and to take advantage of everything that's out there. And when it's good for me, it's good for you and it's good for everybody.